I, I come to this project from a, from a uh, deep commitment to issues in West Africa. I, my first entry point in Africa was in my mid-20s uh, in the early 1990s when I was a Peace Corps volunteer in a small village in eastern Niger uh, and dealing in working with communities who were, who were dealing with uh, drought and high rainfall variability. Uh, but also incredibly impressed by their innovative ways in which they managed and dealt with risks. And so when I got into the adaptation um, business about 10 years ago, I, I sort of carried those perspectives into that, that, that uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of knowledge and resilience at the, at the local level that, that um, I think provides a point of optimism. Uh, we tend to always think about climate change in the context of vulnerabilities uh, and we need to think it also in terms of capacities and what do people have and what are they already doing to deal with all the, all the challenges that they're facing. Um, so I was keen to get involved in this project for that reason and, and to really delve deep into adaptation and begin to unpack what adaptation really means in the development context. Um, and from the standpoint of START, it does provide some uh, opportunities to work with young scientists, uh, and that's our really our one of our core missions, our raison d'etre, is to work with young scientists to uh, enhance their capacities for doing science, but, but working in a very holistic manner that, that considers their sort of overall skill development, and hoping to do some of that through us through SR.